So an update on my 172 rebuild. It came time to update the radios and it led to updating the panel. Now I wanted to bring the airplane up to IFR standards so I uh, was able to get a uh, Narco 12D plus with a glide slope. And that was an easy update, um, but the 300, uh, the Garmin 300 XL, which <clears throat> is an IFR certified um, GPS, necessitated an enunciator. And the enunciator had to be within so many inches of the center of the panel, and that required that uh, some holes be cut in the panel, and that just led me to this process after I measured that, that we're going to have to cut out and make a whole new panel. Well, that process included starting with a piece of plexiglass. And I took a piece of plexiglass and shaped it the size that I wanted. Then I was able to measure around that uh, to see where the instruments needed to be clustered, what would be in the way. Uh, I then took that home and cut out an aluminum piece and fit it up to make sure that it fit where all the rubber mounts were. Uh, once that process was completed, I uh, also sketched out on paper the layout of all the instruments and that all went pretty well. And then you cut them out, there's a tool there, uh, it's a little press that you <clears throat> cut a center hole for each one of the instruments and you tighten it down and it'll pop out the holes for you. Uh, and it's a great little tool, works great. Uh, and I used it and upon making the first panel I then came to discover that my enunciator, uh, I'd put it a little bit too high and a little bit too far to the right and it bumped into a uh, um, structural component of the panel and not wanting to cut that. My first panel didn't work, so I got to try it again. Um, and I will say this, cutting the second one went a lot faster. First one took me about 10 hours to make. The second one, uh, I got it down to about five. Uh, this is not a fast process of making these individually by hand. But anyway, uh, I got the second one made out. Um, I then took the enunciator, fit it, made sure everything fit, and then went back and then cut all the other holes, put all the instruments in it retried it in the panel. Uh, also by then I was getting the radios all fit up. Uh, my ANP was <clears throat> making up the wiring harness and getting that all ready. Uh, and then once the panel was all put together, take everything apart again, uh, powder coat it, uh, and then a friend of mine wrapped it with a um, carbon fiber wrap that looked pretty cool. And, and then put everything back together again and then it all goes back in. You hook up all your wires and test it all and uh, it ended up coming out looking really good. Uh, then the other side of the panel didn't match, so I just made an aluminum overlay that's kind of like the plastic overlay. Cut all the holes out. We did, again, uh, the carbon fiber wrap, which made the right side look good. And so now you can see how it looks from the left uh, is the old one, and, and then you have the new one right there, uh, and it looks great. So that's where we are, and so now... Uh, to get a pedostatic check uh, so I can get the IFR certification.